Mr. Varshoff, this is Place the Move and, and welcome to the fairly old parents month. Every day you can divide by five, I will be making a video dedicated to the fairly old parents. And today I am going to review an episode that one of my fans requested. And that episode is which, which is which. So, anyway, without further ado, let's dive in. The episode begins with Timmy and AJ arguing over who is more important. Alton Bitterroot or Dale Dim. During the day dedicated to celebrating the founding of Dim's Dale. Anyway, Timmy knows that there is only one thing he can do. Waste himself back in time and take a photo of the Imdale to prove that he really fucking existed. Yeah, AJ was claiming that the Imdale was just a myth. And that's where this episode gets very interesting. And then we are introduced to Alden Bitterroot, who looks almost fucking exactly like Denzel Crocker. Not only does he look like him and sound like him, he also fucking acts like him. Wow, that must be Dancer Crocker's ancestor. That's interesting. Anyway, Timmy meets up with Dale Dim, and I gotta say, I don't believe for a second that this is the guy who founded Dim's Dale. Wanna know why I say that? Because he is a brain dead moron. He's so fucking brain dead that it's unbelievable. This brain dead moron found the theme still. Yeah, right. No wonder AJ has stopped. This guy even existed. Anyway, Alden thinks that him is a witch. Well, he isn't exactly a witch. He still has friends who are fucking magical creatures. Yep, I'm convinced this guy is a reincarnation of Denzel Crocker. There is no doubt in my mind about it. Anyway, Alton wants to prove that Timmy is a witch by throwing him into the lake and attach him to an anchor. Yes, I'm convinced that this guy is identical to Denzel Crocker because he's just as fucking twisted. I mean, he thinks of something that will make Timmy Turner die either way. What a sick con. Not so fast, you big fake! <gasps> what? You survived? How must be a witch! Or a kid who can swim! Well, there's that. Yeah, there is one problem with that. You are tied to our fucking anchor. So you need more than just the ability to swim to be able to survive that. How come nobody notices the flaps in that logic? Are the townspeople really that dumb? And then all of a sudden Cosmo and Wanda's magic stops working. Okay, why the hell do their magic stop working all of a sudden? Usually when their magic stops working, it's because Timmy wished for something that goes against the rule book. But nothing like that is happening right now. So why the hell does their magic stop working? Apparently the reason fairy magic didn't work is because Alton Bitterroot is a fucking witch. Damn, that's one major twist and that's one thing he doesn't have in common with Dancel Crocker. Interesting. Anyway, Dale Tim starts fighting Alton and apparently he is a giant who is immune to magic. Fucking awesome! Wow, no wonder the town was named after him. And then the town is named Thimstead and Timmy finally gets to prove that they really existed. Which is beyond fucking awesome. And then Alden gets out of the well just to be pushed back in there. Okay, how the hell is Alden still alive? The average lifespan for a human being is around the age of 80. So it makes absolutely no sense that he's somehow still alive. And how the hell was he able to survive down there for all these years without any fucking food or anything like that? It just doesn't make sense to me. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. What can I say? This episode is beyond fucking awesome. And for that I'm going to give it a rating two thumbs up. Well guys, that's all I'm going to say. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Excuse me.